Hello everyone, my name is Aarti and you are watching HW News. The voting for the vice presidential election has begun and the MPs from both the houses of parliament are casting their vote to elect the next vice president of India. The term of incumbent vice president M. Venkaiah Naidu will end on 10th of August and after that on 11th of August the new vice president will take oath. Now this voting began at 10 a.m. in the morning and it will go on till 5 p.m. in the evening. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Home Minister Amit Shah, former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, Dr. Manmohan Singh has already cast uh, their vote. Apart from that, several MPs have also cast their votes already. NDA has pitched Jagdeep Dhankar as a vice presidential candidate from their side, whereas the joint opposition has fielded Margaret Alva as the candidate for the vice presidential election. Jagdeep Dhankar uh, was also a West Bengal governor earlier. And uh, he has had his share of run-ins with the state government run by TMC leader Mamta Banerjee. Apart from that, if we have to give you a brief profile of who Jagdeep Dhankar is, then a JAT leader and a lawyer Jagdeep Dhankar has practiced in Rajasthan High Court as well as in the Supreme Court also. Uh, in 1989, he was elected in Lok Sabha from Junjunu on a Janta Dal ticket. And later on, he also joined the Congress party. It was in 2003 when he joined the Bharatiya Janata party and 2019, he was made the governor of West Bengal. On the other hand, we have Margaret Alva, who is the joint opposition candidate for the vice presidential election. She first entered Rajya Sabha when she was just 32 years old in 1974. She has been elected to the house four times. She was Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs in Rajiv Gandhi government in 1980. Four and later, she held the charge of youth affairs and sports in the Ministry of Human Resource and Development. She has also served as minister in charge of women and child development. And furthermore, she has also been governor of four states, including uh, Goa, Gujarat, Rajasthan and Uttarakhand. So let us also understand how exactly the vice presidential election is held. We had earlier made a video on how the presidential election is held. But vice presidential election is on similar lines, but there are some changes in it. Unlike the, vice, uh, unlike the presidential election, the vice presidential election uh, does not have MLAs of the states casting their votes to elect the vice president of the country. It is only the member of the parliaments from Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha who cast their vote to elect the vice president of India. Now, total this time around, we have 788 member of the parliaments who are casting their vote and vote value of each MP is thus similar. Now, if we have to look at who exactly has the edge between Jagdeep Dhankar and Margaret Alva, then it is clearly Jagdeep Dhankar, NDA candidate who has the edge with 515 votes in his favor. Already many parties supporting NDA have declared their uh, support for him, declared their uh, uh, declared that they will vote for Jagdeep Dhankar prior to the election. On the other hand, Margaret Alva in her favor has 200 votes. Uh, apart from that, Trinamool Congress party has stayed away from the vice presidential election. Mamta Banerjee was uh, apparently upset that she was not consulted before the opposition, the joint opposition uh, decided on Margaret Alva as the vice presidential candidate. Margaret Alva also tried to talk to Mamta Banerjee and tried to convince her, but it did not yield any result. And TMC, which has uh, 23 MPs in Lok Sabha and 16 MPs in Rajya Sabha has decided to stay away from the vice presidential election. Now, Jagdeep Dhankar in his support has uh, YSRCP, Janta Dal United, BSP, AIA DMK, Shiv Sena and several other NDA partners. Apart from that, Margaret Alva on the other hand uh, is does have support of Congress Party, Amadmi Party, AIMIM, TRS. Jharkhand Mukti Morcha and other such opposition parties. So as I said, the voting has begun for the vice presidential election. It remains to be seen who exactly wins the vice presidential election. But as of now, Jagdeep Dhankar, the NDA candidate, seems to have edge over opposition candidate Margaret Alva. Do let us know what you think about this in the comment box below. For more news and updates, you can log on to www.hwnews.in.